Welcome folks, welcome again. Today we are going to have a very fantastic class and we're going to look at chord extension. Chord extension. Chord extension in the world of jazz is simply adding an extra note to a basic major chord to sound a bit different and to give it character and to give it color and to characterize it in a, with a sudden feeling and emotion without wasting so much time guys let's dive in okay, now <clears throat> I'm going to do it in every key so do not worry uh, so I'm going to begin on the key of C okay in my previous videos where I've been talking about how to form chords how to form basic triads a basic triad is simply a chord that has three notes in it but now when we begin now to extend it that's the time now when we begin now giving it an extra name like let's say chords now <clears throat> if you observe very well the key which we are going to begin with like the key of C we have these three notes in it now if you observe the scale numbers we have one two three four five six seven eight when we begin extending chords, the name of that chord changes from a major chord to a major something, a minor something. If you've ever heard someone play, then they give you scale numbers or they give you the progression, then they speak of something like something major seven, something six, something add something, all right? That is what we call chord extension. And we're going to begin with our very first chord extension called the major seven. When we talk about a major 7 chord, what we simply do, we take a basic major chord, like that. Now in this C major chord, major triad, you will see, you will notice, we only have three notes. That's a 1, a 3, and a 5. Now, from the name itself, a C major 7, what do you think is the look like of that chord? What we simply do, we add this extra 7 degree to that chord, to that triad, and for it to sound like this. Let me repeat again. Chord extension is just adding an extra note to a chord to change its characteristic and its sound and its color, to attach it to an emotional thing. Now, what we just did for us to get a C major 7, remember this is a C, this is a 7, this is 6. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. So when we say C major seven, we do that. Then we add the seven. This chord is no longer C major, but it's now being called C major seven. Sounds good, right? Sounds good. It's no longer sounded basic. Isn't it? Now, I want us now to try and form the same thing on C sharp. C sharp major chord or major triad will look like this. But now what is the seventh degree of a C sharp? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then one. So we have this and add that seven. So we have that. Amazing. Let's proceed now to the next one. A D. A D major triad will look like this. One, two, three, four, five. So have a one, three, and five in there. What is the seventh degree of a D? This one. So we add it right there. That now will be a D major seven. Let's now proceed to an E flat major seven. Now, this is the E flat or D sharp for that matter. This is the seven right there. If you are getting confusion, please refer to my video about scale numbers for you to practice until you get well. Alright, now let's proceed to an E major 7. Like that. So we just add the 7th degree of the E major. So like that. So play. proceed down to an F. What is the seventh degree of an F? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
so I have this. Like that. Let's proceed to G flat. And F sharp major 7. We got that guy there. Okay. That this is so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1. So that the 7th. So you have this. So let's proceed to a G. So have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. So have one, three, five, seven. All right. Let's proceed down to G sharp. to an A, that is an A, where is the seventh? Here. Right there. So, where is the seventh? Here. Right there. So practice until you get them. So finally we are coming to a B. So in the key B, B major scale. So this is one, two, three, four, five, so these are seven, so you you mix all those you, you put together. You extend that chord, you extend that chord by adding that seven that becomes a B major seven. And finally, back to your C major. Okay? So practice these chords until they become a part of you. Alright? Now, let me give you the next tip about now seventh chord. You might ask, now how do we apply 7th chords in our normal playing? Before I answer that, I will show you my next tip about now how to voice this chord when you're playing so that you do not sound outright like that. So what I usually do, I will pick all the ones. I usually do, I usually use my 7th chord when I want to replace the ones. Like for example, if I want to play the C major, like that, I will invoke the seventh note, like that. So this is what I'm going. This is it. this is my C major triad. Okay. So I will take this one and play it on my left hand, just just the normal octave. Then I add the five, like this. Then on my right hand, because this note has already been taken care of in my left hand, I will now drop it, then I will play the seven. So that chord will sound like that. Beautiful, right? Okay? Now in application, how would you do that? Um, oh, let, maybe let's try maybe on C sharp, the same thing we did on C sharp, maybe even on F sharp just randomly I'm just doing it randomly now the same thing I did now pick this root note where the five degree here so I'm going to pick where the C7 here so I'll play like this okay that is one way of voicing it let's now proceed to the D D is right here here so drop it because it's been taken care of here so then we play the Now to E flat, right there. So this is the E flat. The E has the E flat has already been taken care of here. So I'm going to play this one. Let's now proceed now to the E. The E has been taken care of in, the, in my left hand. So I'm going to play this instead. Okay. All right. Now I proceed now to an F. This is the F triad, so F and F note has already been taken care of by the left hand, so I'm going to play the seventh. Now to the F sharp, right there. The F, has, the F sharp has been taken care of by the left hand, so I'm going to play the seventh. Okay, now to the G. Okay. I hope now you understand what I'm doing. Now, G sharp. And now to an 
A, just like that, just some, just some thing. Okay, like that. So you can, do, you can try to play it with other inversions and see how it sounds. Okay, all right. Now proceed now to this gentleman. All right, just like usual. So, so you can try to carry this F down for you to get the other or uh, inversion. Now to the, the B now. Okay, now back finally to C right there. Okay, now if you want to make this chord even sound more sweeter, try and play them with inversions. If you didn't get the inversion, go back to my videos and watch about inversion and practice about inversions for you to get really really acquainted by the same because if you invert these chords they really sound good now look at this it's the same thing i'm playing here but now now your question could be how do i apply the seventh look watch um give me a song give me a song um like um Mm. You will never ever change. You are the Lord. Mm. Now, if you notice on my four, I use my four to replace sometimes my one. So, the relationship between the C major triad and the F major triad is because they share this note. They share this third degree from the C major scale, which is the seventh of an F. And on an F major scale, the C is the fifth degree. So they share these two notes, which sometimes, if you play this, this chord, from the first inversion, it's gonna sound like this. Okay, like that. So if you invert it even much further, it sounds like this. If you invert it even much further, it's gonna sound like this. So sometime I will invert my one to play this one. So like. So I use a, 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 a major seven, maybe sometime to when I want to play a dominant chord that is next. Like, you are the Lord. I'm going to make another video where I'll be applying some of these chords so that you will understand. Right now you may not understand, you may think as if um, oh, that's a difficult stuff for me to do, but I will advise you to always take it easy on yourself. Don't be so difficult on yourself that you have to know these things on one day. Man, we've taken years to master these things and yet I haven't mastered everything. I'm still learning, I'm still practicing every day. Enough.